Hi guys. First, please ignore the hair. It does need a brush, but that'll come at a later date when my hair's dry because at the moment it is wet. I just got out the bath. If you watched my routine, my night routine, you will know that I take a bath every night, but this is not what that is not what this video is about. I've been thinking, well, more than thinking since I do a lot of things, but I've been thinking a lot about safety and autism and safety and other disabilities in general, especially if someone's not with their family anymore and they go out with friends or they go on holiday or they just go out in general to the shops. A lot of the time we don't think about the basic things of what if they can't communicate? What if they're non-verbal? What if they can't get to their parents or their carers or their friends to communicate for them? What if they're in an accident and they need someone to communicate for them? Now I had a lot of those thoughts for a lot of years simply because I have a lot of conditions that tend to contradict each other. I have a lot of conditions that people haven't heard of. I have an assistance dog who can't be separated from me even when he's not vested or got his cape on I should say since that's what we call it. And I need people to understand that I don't live with my parents anymore. I live independently but who I'd want them to call if anything ever happened would be my mummy because she knows the most about my conditions, she knows the most about my, about my illnesses and she's the one that I trust in all fairness, I don't, I'm sorry, nothing against them, but I wouldn't trust Bryn or Phil to actually answer their phones because one wears headphones all day and the other is usually catnapping or at the football. So I wouldn't trust them, but my mummy I would because she has, she's always been the one that school called, she's always been the one that college called, she's always been the one that other people called on my behalf. So when I figured out that even before I lived independently and I started going out with friends on my own or I started going out to classes on my own even before I had the ball of happy floof I knew I needed something that would keep me safe that would have information on it about me and that would make sense to others and I looked at the internet for it because I go to the internet for a lot of things and found out about medical alert jewellery now, over the years, bearing in mind I've probably been looking and wearing this jewellery since I was about 16-ish, and I turned 27 this year, I've had various different kinds. I've had dog tags, I've had just a necklace, like a normal necklace that has the medical symbol on it, I've had bracelets that are metal bracelets, I've had bracelets that have pretty funky colours on the side but then the plate is metal with the medical alert symbol on them that is not it that is my Fitbit for anyone wondering and I finally settled on one that is very very similar to the kind of material my Fitbit strap is made out of but it's very clear what it is because it says it now for the purpose of this video I'm not actually wearing it because it's down on the floor beside me because I wanted to show y'all before I wear it, before I put it back on. Um, but mine looks like this. Yes, it's pink. Those who know me know I love that colour. It is bright pink. And on the front it says medical alert. And it has a li the little medical alert symbols. Or sim yeah, symbols on both sides. So it's pretty obvious what it is and it'll go it fits on my wrist this is a small but they go from extra small I think to extra large in these kind of ones if you get like one that actually looks like a piece of jewelry you have to measure out your wrist in order to get the uh, not string that's the wrong word to get the metal correct to the links that's the word I was looking for to get the links correctly so it doesn't fall off your wrist now I was never any good at that because I have had ones that have links and connect and I have had ones that are literally like a normal bracelet they just have the little 
excuse me, they just have the little medical alert symbol on the side. Because of my coordination difficulties, I could never measure them. I could never measure my risk correctly. And I feel as though that would have been a good idea to have my parents for help. But at the same time, explaining to them that I need a medical alert bracelet would have been really difficult because they don't quite understand that. Um, so when I stumbled across these ones, which I now love, every time I need a new one, which isn't very often, but I get a new one if I get a new condition, if this the writing on this wears out, which to be fair, this has lasted a good almost a year and a half and it's not dead yet, if my dog's eaten it, which is actually more likely than the text wearing out because Jake does like to chew, or if I lose it. And again, not very often, since it rarely comes off my wrist. It is waterproof. And I know that because I take a bath every night and this stays on. And it, I've had it in the water, I've had it in pools, I've had it in rivers. I know it's waterproof, I know it stays on my wrist in the water. So this one is great for me. And I think in general this is quite good for sports because bearing in mind I'm a dancer. This stands out from my leotard and tights or my jumpsuit and socks and whatever I'm wearing for dance that day and everyone knows this exists. Everyone is fully aware that I wear this. And that's a thing really. I mean, yes, it's important that other people like friends and family know you've got medical alert conditions or conditions that go on a medical alert, but at the same time they need to know you're wearing one as well because this has very important information on it. It just says medical alert on the front you turn it inside out I mean obviously you won't if you're unconscious but it's good for friends and family to know they can turn it inside out to see the information I'm gonna cover up like a tiny amount because it does have my mummy's number on and obviously that's not the best thing to have but it does have a lot of my conditions on there along with my name and the bit I'm covering up is my mummy's number uh, because I don't want that on the internet. However, this one is 40 characters on each line. It does tell you when you've gone over when you're typing it in because it'll show up in red. Um, but it works really well for me. And I got my cousin, my little cousin one, she's autistic. And she's on a gluten and wheat free diet as well like I am so she wears one to school she wears one when she comes to see me she wears one when we go out together just in case it's got her mum's number on it and stuff and I just think it's important I mean even if you're not disabled realistically having something that identifies you as a human well, not necessarily identifying you as a human, but identifying who you are and identifying who to call in an emergency. Rather than like having to have someone who doesn't know you getting confused and trying to like make sure you're not hurt and stuff, that can be quite difficult. Um, it just makes good sense. You need people need to know what your name is. If you've got any medical medical conditions or any medication you're on, it's just it's important. I know you can get cards, but at the same time, people aren't normal people who aren't like trained doctors or AMTs and things. They're not going to know and they're not going to think to check for a medical alert bracelet or a medical alert piece of jewelry or a card. The only thing I think most people, normal people, look for is a license, like a driver's license, I think, for ID. My logic to that was pointless because I don't drive, but I do go in mummy and daddy's car. I go to friends and I go in their car, but I don't drive. So they wouldn't be looking for an ID for me because the only ID I've got is my passport and that's in my backpack. And I don't always have my backpack. Quite often, I just have my dog, his lead, my phone, my keys, and whatever little thing I take with me in terms of sensory items. 
So it'd be useless looking for licenses and IDs on me. It's easier for me to wear a bracelet. Especially with the amount of conditions I've got. I mean, I'd get it if it was a normal person. And that... They are, um... Sorry, I was WhatsApping my friend back, uh, messaging my friend back. Completely forgot about that because I saw it pop up when I was doing this. Okay, I'm back on now. Where well, what was I saying? Um, it's an essential piece of kit, really. Regardless, I mean, if you were sat at a bar and something happened, someone would need to know your name. If you're at a restaurant, or if you were out in general without your friends on your own, or or with people who don't know you that well and they find you, they need to know who to call. And yes, I am brushing my hair on camera, it's driving me crazy. The only real people who are trained to look for medical jewellery and stuff to do with uh, medical conditions are EMTs, paramedics, doctors and nurses. Which is why I find it important to make it very clear to my friends that I wear a medical piece of jewellery so that if they ever need to contact my mummy I know that they can go on to the back of this piece of jewellery and I know that they can that they're able to contact her on my behalf especially if I'm out with them and something goes wrong like that is the main reason I do it because it does give not just me but it also gives my family peace of mind as well and yes my dog has just reappeared he was sat in the hallway hello sweet boy are you going to be in the video hello actually that's the point dude hang on I'm borrowing your collar you can have you can look all you want but I'm borrowing your collar Furball also wears hang on let mummy, can mummy take it off? Mummy needs to show our friends, okay? we we'll get it back. Mummy's just going to borrow it to show our friends. Uh, my dog also wears a medical data tag on his collar, along with the ones that say our addresses on it, that just states that he's Jake, he's an assistance dog, not to separate us, and the fact that I wear medical alert. Um on my right wrist, which I do. Jake, come back. Come back. I showed our friends, let's put this back on you. And it is very clear that it is medical data because people need to know not to separate us. Because people need to know that he's a working doggo and I have very big issues without him. Because I don't leave the house without him, but at the same time, if he's not wearing his cape, people need to know that he's a working dog and that he's my assistance dog. And we can't be separated. And yes, mummy loves you too. Are you happy? I promise you he's not a complete nut. So he just likes being petted. I mean, he doesn't obviously can't wear a bracelet, which is why he's got a tag. But in general, if I was going to recommend a medical alert to anyone, I would recommend it to people who have additional needs to people who have allergies to people who have cancer to people who are unable to speak non-verbal people to people who have seizures to people who have uh, not unknown but very unique I guess you can put it conditions like I do I have non-verbal learning disorder it's only really recognized in USA so I have that on a bracelet so that people don't get confused. To people with type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes for that matter, even though they get a card as well from the, I think from the hospital. Um, to people who can't communicate, to people who have had, are on a lot of medication. My daddy is on a lot of medication and there are medications he can't have. So I made, I actually went online and made him a bag tag that says 
not to give him certain things, what his name is, and if anything happens to contact Mommy again, because she's the only one I can guarantee will answer her phone. Me and Bryn are autistic, we won't answer the phone unless it was really, really necessary. Or it was from someone we like. And to anyone who struggles with, well, anything, I mean, in general, it's just good to have some form of ID that says your name, your address, someone to call an emergency, and your doctors. I know America also has insurance numbers on there. I don't quite know how that works. And I'm not sure how that works in England because I don't think we have insurance. Like, we don't have medical insurance, but I could be wrong. But I don't think we do. But if you do have it, then it's a good idea to wear some form of ID. It doesn't have to be medical ID. Mine is medical ID because mine has medical conditions on. But with the sites I've used, like Universal Medical ID and the Band ID code, you also get options for kids, you get options for that look more like jewellery, you get options for sports, which say sports ID on them rather than medical alert, and you have options for like hat and shoe alerts as well, which is actually really helpful. Because that gives you rider options in terms of how you deal with your conditions or how you deem it possible to ID yourself. Now for me, it was logical to get a medical alert because I have medical conditions. I have friends and family that care about me but also need to know that this is who you call if something happens. Now that might not be the case for everyone. But as far as I can think of, a medical alert or some form of ID that says who you are, says all the information you feel necessary on it, regardless of whether it's not a medical ID or not, that's on your wrist or around your neck, because that's where EMTs and paramedics check first for ID and then they go to your purse or your wallet, would be a good idea. And in case of an emergency card would also be a good idea. Now, I have one of those in my purse, but I don't always take my purse out. So I also have one in Jake's coat, because Jake is always with me when I go out. Now, you could keep yours on your keys, you could keep your bracelet on your purse, on your keys, on your handbag, on yourself. It just needs to be visible so people can know who to contact, who you are and what to do. That's all it needs, and that's why I got one. Because I know I wouldn't be able to speak for myself even if I wasn't in a car accident or any type of accident. It's just an important thing and I would recommend it to anyone. I love wearing mine. It's comfy, gives me peace of mind and I love it. And Jake having one as well also gives me that extra peace of mind that I need in terms of keeping both myself and my pet safe or my assistant's dog safe. I'm not entirely sure what else I can say on this topic because this is only where I'd go to anyway. So I'm going to say bye guys, thanks for watching.